Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some XD goodness. And today's XD goodness is more of a hack than anything else. I'm a great user of the Adobe Touch apps, especially Capture CC. And the great thing about that is, is you can create brushes and colors and things like that and add them to your Creative Cloud library and you get access to them in all of the Adobe applications, except for XD. And that's a bit of a frustration for me because I love using the color themes that I, I capture. And sometimes I may want to use them in an XD project. So what to do? Well, what you can do is, and I've got Photoshop open here, is you can come over to your Creative Cloud library, open it up. There's your color themes. And all you need to do really is just take a screenshot of your color themes. Now, if you can't remember what they're called, just roll over and there are the names. Take your screenshot. I use Snagit from TechSmith, but there are a bunch of other screen capture utilities out there that you can use. Once you've got your screenshot in place, you can pop over to XDs, which is what I'm going to do, and just add your library to the pasteboard. And now all I have to do is just draw a little box here, get the eyedropper tool for the fill, and we're going to use the Newfoundland theme here, and I'm going to use that blue, and I'm just going to add that to the palette. And I want to add the next blue over, which is this one. And I'm just going to add that to the palette. And let's grab one of the darker colors. Let's go with that green. And I'm going to add that to the palette. And these colors will stay with you and you can use them. And the best thing is, is if you've got these done, you can always just drop this in and sample the colors in XD create a custom chips, and you're good to go. So there you go. There's a little bit of a hack for Adobe XD. It gives you the ability now to use your Creative Cloud color theme libraries created in Adobe Capture CC.